Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Yash and today I will show you how to create a scroll view in Xcode 13.3 and Swift 5.6. This project should work fine with previous versions of Xcode and Swift. So let's take a look at what we will be building today. So this is a previous project I worked on. Uh, there are two views. Uh, on top of a scroll view. So the thing with blue is a scroll view and yellow pretty stuff with rounded corners are just normal views. So this is it. Let's get started. I already have my Xcode opened up. I'll create a new Xcode project and only if it let me, I'll select iOS app, hit next and let's name it YouTube scroll view and make sure you name it anything other than scroll view because if you name it scroll view it might clash with xcode xcode library and stuff so just name anything other than scroll view uh, interface storyboard language swift and uh, use core data is unchecked and include test is unchecked hit next and save it wherever you like. I will save it under YouTube and create. So today we we will be working mainly on storyboard. So let me just go ahead and quickly run the project so we don't waste time. And it's I think it oh wow that's pretty fast. So it it just launched. Uh, on view controller we will first go here object library and let's find our scroll view and drag and drop here and align it to the safe area view and let's bring it all the way to the bottom and here and then we will give it constraints so it's going to be zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and just hit add for constraints and uh, you will see that it, it it shows red and looks like something's wrong. So we will fix it. How we will fix it? So make sure you click your scroll view, go to, I think it's size inspector. Yep, it's size inspector. And deselect content layout guides. So bam, and now everything is blue. So that's what we wanted. Now we need one more view on top of scroll view so we'll just say normal view and all the way to the bottom and let's drag and drop it here and we will do the same thing with this and let's just drag it all the way to the bottom and here we will give it constraints of uh, zero from top zero from left zero from right zero from bottom and one more thing we will give it constraint of height and it will be let's say 1300 uh, and add five constraints and once again you will see red lines right something's wrong so first let's go ahead and uh, give this view the one under scroll view name let's name it uh, blah blah view and then uh, you hit control so make sure control is pressed and drag to the view like click and drag and just select equal width and it should go away so looks pretty good now i think yep uh it's all blue blue is good and you know uh let's give it a color so i think we had let's go to attribute inspector right here and select system teal teal color yep teal looks good Next, uh, we so if you see if you see this view, it it goes pretty pretty down, right? But we need to see the whole thing on the iPhone, so we can select here. Make sure you click on View Controller, uh, go to Size Inspector again, and instead of Fixed Simulated Size, we will select Freeform and give it a height of let's do thirteen forty. So if you do 1300, like there is still a, a little left. Uh, the reason is because the view is constrained to the safe area view. 
so that we and I think the status bar is around 40 pixel or points whatever the unit is okay so this is it and we need uh, two more views uh, so uh, if we run the project right now uh, it's running and okay here so it's actually scrolling right now so pretty good but just to make it cleaner let's add two more views and I should search for the view and scroll at the bottom drag and drop right here and uh, just put it somewhere here and then let's so first let's give it a corner radius here we'll say so go to class inspector identity inspector and uh, just click this little plus icon and for keypad it will be corner uh, corner with C in lowercase and radius with R in uppercase and type is going to be number and let's make it 20 and now let's uh, duplicate it so we'll need one for the bottom no wait let's give it a color first uh, let's do yellow uh, system yellow and now duplicate so right here and so you won't be seeing the corner radius on this thing uh, on the storyboard because it's if you read it here it's a uh, it's a runtime attribute so when you run it you will see it so you know let's just run it and we will see round round stuff pretty cool let's give it constraints so this will be constrained let's do 50 from top uh, zero from left zero from right and no constraints from bottom make sure there is no constraint for bottom and height will be let's do 200 and add four constraints oh we messed up somewhere okay uh, let's click again here uh, let's do 50 from top oh uh, I think we did zero let's make it 20 and uh, no constraints in the bottom and height will be 200 and add four constraints okay looks pretty good and we'll do the same thing for this guy here uh, so we'll just reverse so there will be no constraints for top and side will be 20 uh, right side will be 20 and bottom will be 50 constraint to margin and height will be 200 and add four constraints okay we are good to go so let's run the project for one last time and here it is uh, pretty fancy stuff so I think this is one of the easiest scroll view out there on YouTube uh, if it helped you make sure to hit the like button if you have any questions feel free to post in the comment section below and if you are not subscribed do consider subscribing for videos like this Thank you.